Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to be teaching you today how to hydro dip a Zoe mouse using this film that I have done this Xbox controller on. I'm going to be teaching you how to do that on your mouse and I'm going to go over all the materials that you need in order to get that done. I hope you guys enjoy the video and remember to like and subscribe. Here we're going to lightly sand the mouse with some 600 grit sandpaper and then we're going to paint the base color white because this film behaves better on a white base depending on the film that you're trying to use. We're going to apply one coat of plastic primer and let it dry for 15 minutes. All right, Pinhead, your time is up. Who you calling Pinhead? Now we're going to spray on some coats of white until I get a full even coverage. While that dries, we're going to cut out our hydro dipping film. We want to make sure you have a little bit more than what the mouse size is. So you would like world. two or three inches <laughs> to each side. And then how you know which side of the vinyl you want to put down on the water, it's going to be the sticky side. So you could wet your finger, the tip of your finger, and touch the hydro dipping film. And whichever side is sticky, it's going to go upside down. You want to apply tape to all four sides. This is going to stop the film from spreading once you put it on the water. So here I've filled up the entire bucket with hot water from the sink. It's recommended that you use anywhere between 75 to 90 degrees. So you carefully want to set down your hydro dip film on the water. Make sure that you get as least bubbles as possible under. 
um, the sticky side always goes upside down, even though that might not make sense. That's the instructions. You want to let your vinyl sit for around one minute so that all the creases will evenly spread out. And then after one minute, depending on how hot your water is, if it's colder, you might need to let it sit for a bit longer. And then after one minute, you can go ahead and spray your activator, which you're going to let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds before you start dipping the actual material. After you're done, you want to rinse out the product to make sure you get all of the adhesion off of it. 2,000 years later. So as you can probably tell, um, I didn't really like how the film turned out on the first dip. So I went ahead and I redid the process and I dipped it again. Now I'm a little bit more satisfied with how it looks. Now we're going to hit it with some acrylic varnish from Montana. Many, many minutes later.
And this is how the mouse turned out, guys. I hope you like it. And thank you very much for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.